A space, SpaceX is set to launch in its mega rocket Starship into orbit. Uh, we have Data live complete. visuals right now, to to and we're going to cut to that. For those of you just joining, we have a brief hold um, at the T-minus 40-second mark. Uh, the team is resolving one issue with the bleed purge on the Stage 2 Raptors. Um, like John just said, the teams are quickly working that, and it looks like the flags are being cleared as we speak. So we should be able to resume the launch countdown any moment now. And it's worth noting on Starship that once we resume the countdown, it restarts from the 40-second period, and then we keep exactly. going unless another condition pops up. So stick around, because <laughs> uh, Starship could be going here real soon. <laughs> Don't walk away, that's for sure. <laughs> Amazing views here coming to us from Starbase, Texas. Uh, Maximum aerodynamic pressure. And as the velocity increases, the density of the atmosphere is decreasing, Max Q. lessening stress on the vehicle. The call out, Max Q now. Continuing to watch the first stage as we head down range. You are watching live visuals. The SpaceX has launched its mega rocket Starship into orbit from the company's Starbase facility in Boca Chica, Texas. Starship is currently the largest spacecraft in the world. It stands at about 393 feet. SpaceX eventually hopes to use this spacecraft to explore the moon and Mars and even transport humans there one day. It could also be a workhorse for transporting Starlink satellites as well. As we prepare for stage separation, now after stage separation, the first stage will flip and begin a boost back maneuver for landing in the Gulf. You may remember SpaceX had to delay this launch by a few days, but finally, today was the day that it launched. Continuing it was scheduled. Fly. Two minutes, 40 seconds. Let's get ready for main engine And the off. launch did take place. The world's largest spacecraft. Beginning the flip for stage separation. Now, it's important to note that this is also the most powerful rocket that's ever been built.
And as we mentioned, this is an effort that marks the second launch for Starship, a successful one. The first one, you may remember, was on Monday. It came to a halt after a problem with a valve yeah, Kate, which right created now, pressurization like issues. Flip, Apparently that was resolved. From the ground cameras, the entire Starship stack continuing to rotate. We should have had separation by now. Obviously, this is uh, does not appear to be a nominal situation. Yeah, it does appear to be spinning, but I do want to remind everyone that everything after clearing the tower was icing on the cake. Now, we did learn before the launch that Starship will complete nearly one full lap of the planet, re-entering Earth's atmosphere near Hawaii. It's also expected to splash down in the Pacific Ocean about an hour and a half after liftoff. Everyone here absolutely pumped to clear the pad and make it this far into the test flight. The first integrated flight of the booster and the Starship vehicle. Live view there of our control center at Starbase, uh, which we refer to as Star Command. <laughs> As we've said before, obviously we wanted to make it all the way through, but to get this far, honestly, is amazing. <laughs> well, if you're just joining us, Starship just experienced what we call a rapid unscheduled disassembly or a rud during ascent. But now this was a development test. This is the first test flight of Starship, and the goal was to gather the data, and as we said, clear the pad and get ready to go again. So you never know exactly what's going to happen, but as we promised, excitement is guaranteed. And Starship gave us a rather spectacular end to what was truly an incredible test thus far. As we mentioned at the start of today's program, any and all the data that we collected during the test is going to help us with further development of Starship, and it's going to improve the vehicle's reliability as SpaceX seeks to make life multiplanetary. It's really worth noting that the flight path was designed to be over water and all the air and sea space along with that flight path and those surrounding areas were cleared in advance of the test. And of course, we're gonna be coordinating with local authorities for the recovery operations. But honestly, what an exciting morning. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we had a successful liftoff from Starbase, Texas.